Hi everyone, today we're going to compare how does the i5-10400, which is Intel's newest 10th gen CPU, fire with the 3700X, which is AMD's newest CPU, in terms of video editing in programs such as Premiere Pro. Do more calls and threads relate to faster render times, or is there something else behind that? So we are going to find it out today, let's go! So, for my test bench, I have an Intel i5-10400 with an MSI MPG Z490 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. I have a recent review of this motherboard, so do check it out in the link in the description down below. For the graphics card, it's an NVIDIA 2060 Super, and for RAM, it's 16GB of Patriot Viper RGB RAM at 3200MHz. A Seasonic 650W power supply on the BC1 test bench with a 256GB SSD. For the AMD system, I have a Ryzen 7 3700X MSI MPG X570 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi. I also have a review of this in the description down below. RTX 2060 Super, okay, the same kit of RAM, the same power supply but with a 512GB SSD. For the pricing of both, AMD's 3700X costs $499 and for Intel, the i5-10400 costs $369. So Intel wins over here in terms of the pricing. So how does it hold up in performance benchmarks? Let's find out. So for performance benchmarks, we're gonna use Cinebench R20 along with 3 Mark to figure out like how well the CPUs would fare up against each other in an application that doesn't care whether it's AMD or Intel sided. So for the benchmarks, we can actually see that AMD has a better lead over here as it has more cores and threads compared to the i5. I mean, this would prove that the AMD CPU will be faster in Premiere Pro renders as since Premiere Pro uses more CPU cores when it comes to rendering, right? Let's see. However, this is not the case. As for the AMD CPU, it finished in around 9 minutes. But for the Intel one, surprisingly, it finished in 4 minutes and 47 seconds. It is kind of unexpected considering you're seeing that the Intel CPU has lesser cores and threads, so theoretically it would be the slower CPU here. However, it's not. So let's find out more. Why is this so? This seems to be better optimization for the Intel platform that Adobe seems to have with Intel. Compared to AMD, as for Premiere Pro, it seems to utilize both the iGPU on Intel CPUs at the same time using the dedicated GPU in tandem to do some sort of acceleration. This results in lower CPU usage and well faster encoding time compared to a CPU that has more raw CPU power, which is the 3700X. The GPU utilization can be seen when I have my AMD system running the same encode and the GPU utilization is only 15%, compared to the Intel system where there's more GPU usage when rendering. Okay, this proves that yes, the theory that more CPU power is better for editing is true. As you can see in the video playback, Intel loses out compared to AMD in terms of the amount of drop frames it gets when playing the same video. So when playing games, it's no surprise that AMD is at a disadvantage here due to its slower clock speeds than more games that are CPU bound prefer. For games such as BeamNG Drive, I got an average of about 110 FPS compared to Intel where it's getting 120 FPS on average. In CSGO, which is more of a CPU bound title, AMD is getting about 300 FPS on average, compared to Intel that is getting 321 FPS. So it's around about a 10 to 30 FPS difference depending on what games they're running. Overall, if you're just doing a program that requires raw CPU power and doesn't really care about clock speeds, then the 3700X is actually the way to go. However, if you're using programs such as Premiere Pro or Adobe programs in general, or if you're playing games, then in this case, the Intel platform will be better for you. Something like the 10400 is a good CPU for your choice, or something a bit better like the i7 variant of it. Not only does the Intel provide you a better value as the CPUs are a lot cheaper compared to AMD CPUs. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Now guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay home and stay safe. Peace out.